What am I doing? It was the best day in the universe. Oh, I don't know that. Except for the days that were better. Our vacation life of decadence continues. We're going to another restaurant. Italian this time. And we're gonna have lasagna because we hear that it's the best. And then we're gonna take the kids to the Treehouse Museum. It's gonna be so cute. Gordon, what is it like to be so drop dead gorgeous? Do you feel the pressure when you wake up in the morning? Um. With great power comes great responsibility. It's it's more like when I I feel more like when I wake up in the morning I look like I dropped dead overnight. Oh. Because of talking about you know that that whole conversation happened when we were sitting in the busiest, but it's probably the busiest intersection in Ogden. Uh. Because Washington is you know, one of the Trying to go and get from one of them to the other at lunchtime is turning left from one of them to the other at lunchtime is I don't know not the most fun. Uh, we're going to a place called Tivoli. I thought it was Rivoli. Sorry, just kidding. Rivoli's. Or raviolis? Definitely not raviolis. Oh. Hey, parking spot. A wide angle lens. One of my favorite things to do at restaurants is to tell their cooks that I love the food and just to see the look on their faces and stuff. And it was really cool at this one because my dad took us here for the lasagna because he says it's the best like in the state of Utah. And it did not disappoint. And I told I told the guy that and that my dad has all these years of restaurant cooking experience and I think the guy looked really touched about me telling him that and it made me feel so good. Yeah. Ah, I love that feeling. I love that feeling of appreciating people and people really like accepting a compliment. So, that's another thing. Always accept a compliment when someone gives it to you. I know it's kind of annoying to be all advicey in the vlog, but I'm passionate about this. Don't like argue people away from their opinion or from their compliment. Just say thank you. Okay, advice -y section over. Hmm. What? Do you, would you like to add anything, Morton? No, just that you're cute. Aww. You're cute too. Past the Raptor Stadium in Ogden, and Morton said something that I think is going to be a sh quite a shock to my American, fr our American friends. Out there. I have, you know, other than like, you know, as a kid, you know, like little, what do you call that, you know, little league stuff, mm -hmm. I've, I've never really been to a sports game of any kind, ever. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Unfathomable to to a, a lot of Americans. I couldn't say every American, but okay. What kind of sports of things have you guys been to? I would like to hear your experiences and what your sport experience has been, and which sport you enjoyed watching or whatever. We're stuck watching because your parents liked it. This is before you have experienced your first museum ever. How do you feel? You feel good. Woohoo! <laughs> Are you guys making food? Oh, they're cleaning up.
to the Old Town Road. Today's children's book is The Astonishing Secret of Awesome Man by Michael Chabon, I have no clue if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and with illustrations by Jake Parker. And it's about the adventures of Awesome Man, an awesome superhero with a secret. Oh. Um, but it, it's, it's basically just a... Uh, just a a romp of superheroics and destroying giant robots and fighting slime monsters and such. What would you say is the targeted age group? Uh, oh, probably like 8 to 12 year olds. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and, I mean, you know, we don't want to play into super to, you know, gender stereotypes, but it is very much, you know, the old school preteen sort of book. Cool, cool, cool. Curtain? It's a chunk of the world, and Morton was very gratified that Gotland is on the map. Pretty cool. Practice, um, um. Yeah, practice. Man, they might just don't quite have a good head. Please let me know if you've ever been to a place like this and what you thought about it. The treehouse was such a good thing and if you 
live in Ogden or near Ogden, Utah, you sh and have kids, you should totally get a season pass. Because in, well, if you have more than one kid, if you have two kids and you go four times in the whole year, you will have gotten your money back because it costs like eighty dollars for two kids to get season passes. So it's definitely worth it. We would be getting that if we lived in the area, for sure. So I had a thought today, and I'm kind of excited about it in a way. So I had this creative channel, and I've been uploading it to it once a week, and I realize I might as well just absorb that into this channel because I don't have the time and energy to talk about my creative channel, and I could just as well share it here. I don't know why I didn't just do that in the first place. So, yeah, I'll probably just download those videos and re-upload them here eventually. Somebody was giving me the advice to do, like, different days a week, do something different. So I won't be doing daily vlogging forever, but I think I will do it as long as I need to do it. And I might need to do it <laughs> when I'm going through the chaos at home of moving and stuff. I think it will be good for me. But anyway, I will figure out a day that that will be good. And yeah, I have I have videos that's like kind of preaching a bit while sharing what's something encouraging while I'm flipping through the pages of a junk journal and showing my some of my other creative stuff. So yeah, now I will say hugs and nice Joseph death and unibrow of awesome and gray hairs of wisdom so bye hopefully I'll see you tomorrow